Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can set up your quiz uh, to be automatically graded and give feedback to the students. So the first step is to make sure that your form is a quiz and you have done so when you first started it. Uh, you can always check by going to settings and then looking at quizzes and seeing that's a quiz. Now this is important going here because you also want to see how you're going to release the grades. So if a student takes my assessment they're going to get their grade as soon as they submit their Google form and they're going to see the missed questions, what the correct answers were, and what the point values were for each question. It's up to you if you want to um, eliminate that op option for the student, but that is up to you. So I hit save. Um, and now what I need to do is go to my questions and create an answer key and give point values. So I'm not going to do that for any one of the intro questions because these are not uh, quiz questions, this is just getting uh, student information. So I scroll down to the quiz questions and you'll see on this first one it's asking where France is on the map above. So what all I have to do is just click on the question, go to edit question, and now I can say answer key um, and select which one is the answer and then right here give it a point value. Now. Uh, generally, I would make each question worth the same amount of points um, to make it easier for the student to understand. You do have the option to weight questions more um, if you feel like more power standards are in that question. I would advise you let the student know that by um, putting in a brief description about this question and why it may be worth more points. So anyway, um, this one's all set up, but now the real hidden gem. So I have given it a key. 38 is the answer. I've given it worth a point. Now we can differentiate when the student finishes the assessment and I think this is awesome. So right here we can add what's called answer feedback. And a student who gets it wrong, you can say please go to the following links below. And then right now I can click on the chain link and I can say that I'm going to take them, let's pretend I'm taking them to a website that has information about France's location um, on a map. So I'm just going to make this up and put a website and I can say step one and I can say add. Then I can add another link. Let's say I'm going to take them to maybe a video of someone talking about the locations of Europe or maybe there uh, is another website I want to take them to. So I'm going to make this one up again and then right here I'm going to say step two. And then if you want to get real crazy, you can come down here and say, okay, this is going to take them to a Google Form quiz, and I would just paste a Google Form link like you will do with this one when you put it in Classroom, and then I'll say this is your uh, quiz. And so what I'm doing here is I'm allowing all the students when they, they take this assessment, if they miss a question, then they can go back and find out why they missed the question and then I can have another form built uh, to be auto graded to show that the student has in fact mastered that skill or that standard and I differentiated. Not only that, I could go to correct answers and I can do the same thing. Um, please go to the following links below and I can add enrichment and say, okay, I'm pretending here. Let's say I'm going to take the student to learn more about France and the geography um, and go above and beyond the standard. And then I could also go down here and maybe add um, another more rigorous assessment. So I could say, I'm going to pretend I'm putting in a Google Form link and I can say quiz and I can assess them uh, on more rigorous questions and depth of knowledge to see just how much they know about that particular topic and hit save. So I can do this for every question in the form. I can offer differentiation strategies for each individual student when they take the quiz by including feedback for correct answers and feedback for incorrect answers. Um, go back down to where it says the Maginot line, same thing. I click on the question. I edit it. I'm going to give it an answer key. I'm going to click on which is the right answer, give it a point value, and again go to feedback and say the same thing. You know, again, you can put in your own information in here, um, 
it's up to you. But I'm doing this uh, for the sake, just to show it to you. Um, and I'm speeding it up really quick, just so you can see what I'm trying to do here with this um, video tutorial. So I hit save, um, and now at the bottom, you have these questions, which are a little bit more difficult to give an answer key to. The first question is a choice grid, um, or a checkbox grid question, and so you really can't make this one graded. Um, but you could go back and look at it to determine what the students know. Uh, the linear scale question, you can definitely give it a grade, but we're not going to in this case because it's opinion and it's up to the student. Um, again, a way you could use it is the Mohs hardness scale for science, um, and you could put the minerals um, and ask them to rate what is the scale for that mineral on it. Uh, down here where it's an essay question, this is important. If you want to grade the student on the essay, you can later grade the student um, by going into their uh, form that they've submitted and adjusting the points that they earned based on the response that they've included with their Google form um, response. So in that case, I would go here and then I would set the point value for these questions to whatever I want and I'm making them five and then what I would recommend doing if you're gonna give essay feedback is I would go to the settings gear and I would say right here under quizzes that you want to later release their grade um, because you're gonna go back and look at their their input and then give them a grade and then you hit save and you're ready to go so now in the next video we're gonna look at the student side of the Google form and how they will complete it and you will see it. Thank you so much for watching.